Yeah, Stephen, just because some of the parents don't know, Stephen, um, as a 10-year-old, won the John Lacey Thanks. Award, um, which is unprecedented. We've never had a 10-year-old, or for that matter, 11-year-old win it. But that just tells you what kind of kid Stephen was as a 10-year-old. He was the most enthusiastic, team-spirited, for Cameron Harris player that season. And not only did he, these guys recognize it, but the 11s and 12s and the coaches recognized it. And that's just that's what you get with Stephen Whitaker. He is always going to show up, and he's always for the team. And that was cool to watch you this season, Stephen. I know there was times this year where you were like, man, I wish I could have played a little better. But I thought you played awesome. I thought you were unbelievable in the field. You made some of the best stops uh, at second base that I've seen in a while. You want that? I forget the, the, the game. The one hopper that got us out of a tough inning that we were struggling. I was like, that's as good as any play I've, I've seen any player make in like five years. And the great thing about Steven is we put him all over the place. We played him all over the outfield. We played him in the infield. Whatever we needed Steven to do, he would step up and do. It was just like when he was 10 and on the bench and saying, come on, guys, come on, guys. <laughs> the way only Steven can say it. Um, but, but he carried that forward to his 12-year-old year. And, um, and then you saw last, last game he had, um, I think he had three hits straight up the middle. He just always doing whatever he could for the team. And Steven, we're going to miss having you, buddy. And I hope you'll come back and say, come on, Cameron Harris. Here we go, guys. Because we need that. And we need not to forget it. And I hope you young guys remember a guy like Steven and how important he is to the team, not only for his play, but what he brings to the bench and what he brings for leadership. And at the end of the day, guys, you should all be learning about what it's to be like when you're in Myers Park training, really. It's all about being a leader. And as a 10s, maybe it's hard to figure out, but by the time you're 12s, you're the leaders of the team. And you should embrace that and try to help the young guys figure out how can we get better, how can we win, how can we be serious when we need to, and how can we be fun when we need to. And Stephen was all about that. I'm going to talk about.